Hi guys. All right, I'm just checking in. Uh, this is my asking for an update on what happened in Utah, northern Arizona, southeast Nevada. I posted that video earlier today showing you the very intense, powerful, high-frequency heating coming from a Doppler radar station in Utah. And all of the frequencies that were taking place in California, the microwaves, which you can still see right here, um, these rippled bands of precipitation. You like that nice pie cutout, extremely low frequency, that in Colorado. What is happening, because I uh, did a bit of research Utah, storms, weather, snow, and could only find what I showed in the video earlier, which was you were going to be getting a storm. Well, it doesn't look like much storm because this is being evaporated right here. So what's happening? Um, you know, these frequencies, I just want to say to all of you who are leaving comments saying you are so sick of living in this kind of environment, I'm, I'm right there with you. I, what are, what is happening? All right. I remember posting a video seeing very powerful microwaves that I can't remember what state, but it was somewhere around Texas, I think, or I don't know. I can't remember where. But I remember responding to a comment, somebody saying they were extremely low frequencies. These are not extremely low frequencies. These, I believe, are very powerful microwaves. This is new. You know, I'm used to seeing all of the other signatures, the next right heart brings, the extremely low frequencies. As you can see, they're being emitted from North Carolina. But I, I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out what is up with these frequencies. The, it's been really maybe the past six months that I have seen this and I see it right along the coast of South Carolina. I sure wish there was an easy way to figure out what in fact we are looking at and the effect. I want to tell you just a little bit about what I have found happening in California. Um, evacuations, of course, streets collapsing. This, and I'm not going to play the videos. I will link below to everything. Rain causes part of Highway 243 to wash away. And this, I believe, I could be wrong, but I think it's Southern California. Um, here, major storm prompts mandatory evacuations in Lake Elsinore, Tribuco Canyon. Why? Because they are also experiencing this, um, well, let me play this for you. Behind me again, four of these trees are going to have to come edge of the culvert on Laguna Canyon Road are in danger of falling if the land erodes beneath them. Around one o'clock today, crews heard and felt what sounded like thunder. It was a 200-foot section of cement that lines the culvert. It broke away and was pushed by the raging stormwater out to sea. Now it ripped apart. The concern is that the channel is a few feet from Laguna Canyon Road, and if this uh, the banks of the channel continue to erode away with more rain. It could impact Laguna Canyon. 
And as you can look over my shoulder, um, you know, there's several feet of flowing water. So, yeah, we need to be careful and we're going to monitor this very closely with all the appropriate people. Um, so behind me again. So I also want to just say I came across this Netflix. Oh, God. Yes. They were on lockdown today. No joke. Netflix lockdown ends without injuries. No gun found on suspect. Somebody apparently called the police saying that there was a man walking around with a gun. Netflix goes on lockdown. No gun found. Remember YouTube on lockdown? This is our life now, man. This is just never, ever going to end. All right, so drone video shows levy damaged in California storm. You know, you either have no rain or destructive rain. Isn't it interesting that only in the recent years have we seen rain take out whole streets and levees and trees and why is it that people don't ask questions about this weather that is very different from what we used to have. Don't tell me climate change because that then would we would just be seeing incremental changes not these massive storms that are taking out concrete culverts, taking out streets, bridges. This is California. A woman rescued after mudslide destroyed her home. Sausalito, California. Rescued after her home slid down a hill during a California storm. The mudslide impacted that duplex at 57 Crescent. Yes, okay, mudslides, avalanches, flash flooding, Tribuco Creek overflows across bridge as major rainstorm prompts evacuations. Mudslide ransacks the house in Sausalito. Yes, um, major winter storm fueled by an atmospheric river. They don't say anything about the fueling from these frequencies, do they? Never. Never do they. Um, but just to... This is, you know, this is in Palm Springs. Street. Gone. But it's flood. Not gone. It was but they 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 could drive. Palm Springs got 3.5 inches in 48 hours. Um yeah, atmospheric river fuels torrential rain in California, unleashing flash flooding, mudslides, and avalanches. Evacuations were ordered near the Woolsey Fire and Holy Fire Burn Scar areas, Palm Springs, 3.5 inches. Enough rain was uh, will fall in the major cities of Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, San Diego and others to lead to incidents of urban flooding. Secondary roads in the mountains and canyons. Motorists should anticipate closures due to flash flooding, mudslides, and other debris flows. And storm creates chaos in California with flooding and mudslides. Staggering rainfall amounts across California, including more than 9.4 inches over 48 hours at one location in the San Bernardino Mountains, a woman pulled from rising water in a low-lying area between those mountains and L.A. had a heart attack and died in a hospital. 
She was one of nine people and three dogs who were rescued in a flood control channel where homeless people camp north of San Francisco. A mudslide barreled over cars, uprooted trees, sent a home sliding down a hill, smashing into another house in Sausalito. Been years since a storm so powerful has hit the hillside community, where at least 50 properties were evacuated. A deluge southeast of Los Angeles washed away a section of two-lane mountain highway, 75 feet of pavement completely collapsed along State Route 243. Near the remote community of, is it um, I, Idlewild? I don't know. We're basically stranded right now. The roads closed. Flood advisories extend to Arizona, Northern California, where thousands of people lost power. Flooded Creek led authorities to urge about 300 residents to leave a community some 20 miles west of Paradise. It's fueled by an atmospheric river, a plume of moisture stretching across the Pacific Ocean near to Hawaii. Even before the height of the storm, mandatory evacuations were ordered near the wildfire area in the Santa Ana Mountains, and a resident there didn't leave. He's lost count of how many times his family has been evacuated between last summer's fires and this winter's storms. Rain was so heavy that it sounded like a hundred bowling balls a minute are going down the creek. Creek, Wintering weather closed Interstate 80 much uh, across much of Wyoming and sections of at least four other highways. Multiple avalanches disrupted highway traffic in northwestern Montana near the Idaho border which we did see quite a lot of frequencies right smack in that area. Uh, Colorado, that was the cat running through the window. Um, high winds shattered windows and downed power poles, leaving thousands in Colorado Springs without power. Yeah, so I am very surprised that I didn't hear anything about Utah. So please, guys, let us know what you are experiencing out west.